Off. welcome back to my channel um i look the same the way i exited the last video because it's still the same day i just ended that video and started this one like i told you guys i um i take i took a trip i'm on a trip because it's happening right now for me i'm on a trip and i am in kyoto so i'm going to be in the kansai area for the next couple of days guys today drained me drained me let me tell you something like everything that can go wrong well not everything a lot of things went wrong or have been going wrong so far in this trip so let me just start by saying i lost my ic card which has about over which definitely has about twelve thousand yen on it um the problem is i'm from yokohama uh, well i live in yokohama i'm not from yokohama i'm from jamaica i live in yokohama so that card is affiliated with the jr east group i'm in the kansai area which is jr west and so they can't help me unless it's unless someone turns it in and it's um in the last and phone so i'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to see if i can call jr east to get them to cancel that and to possibly reissue the car with the remaining balance on it because that's a lot of money i I'm, I'm really annoyed because i set aside that money for transportation for getting around and now i'm going to have to dig into the money that i brought to spend and for leisure to go into that anyways checked in and everything yeah another thing that went wrong is it was so difficult finding this uh hotel i ended up having to take a taxi because at this point i'm over it it is 9 15 i left out the house at 11 30 11 30 a.m this morning and I, i'm just getting here so hopefully this is just like the bad part and i'm getting all the way so we can enjoy the rest of the vlog uh i'm going to be in kyoto nara and uh, osaka so i'm going i don't know if i'm going to do a full-on video with everything inclusive or if i'm going to do a video that video is like a series i'm going to see how it goes depending on how much footage i have that will dictate what that will kind of dictate what i do but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like a mini a mini tour of the room it's nothing much like i could literally spin and that would be the entire room but i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys you know the aesthetics while i put, get myself together so hopefully you guys enjoy this video let's get into the room tour <laughs> enjoyed that little mini apartment 
apartment girl get it together i hope that you guys enjoyed my little room tour i look so dark i'm doing a chemical peel and um yeah so that's why my skin is all janky right now so yeah i just had a shower and i am pouring myself eh i hope this work no jesus Uh, hold on I'm sure there's an easier way to do this but I'm gonna do it this way because I know I'm burning up myself I add to the pain and misery I've had to endure today so I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea I'm going to curl up in my bed and do some editing so I'm gonna see what I can do I actually started editing while i was on my way to the hotel because i was on the train for a long time so i'm going to go ahead and see what i can do with the footage that i got so i'm going to see you guys tomorrow tomorrow what we have planned is um, i'm going to go to a tea making ceremony and then we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing and then um in the evening later in the evening we're going to do a pottery class i'm excited about that you know that's something i've never done before i've never done a tea making class either and it's befitting that i'm drinking tea whilst talking about tea so i don't know if i told you guys about this hotel quickly so i this hotel is called hotel m and i found this hotel on agoda ooh, ooh, ooh. agoda is a booking site so if you guys are interested in finding cheap hotels one of the things i like about agoda you get money back i don't know if this is the same for everything every single booking site but for this specific site whenever you book um a hotel you get money back like a few days after your stay i think it's the same for booking.com i think you get well i think you get points with booking.com but i go they actually get money back and it goes towards future accommodations anyways rambling um way too much it is after 10 when i drink my tea edit my video so i will see you guys in the am so see you then Yeah, 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 my Yeah, in yeah, my mind Yeah, in yeah, my mind I ain't got a clue, bro I said five in the morning I wake up to five for my yearnings Yeah, in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying I've been wondering all day Tried to be fine, but I can't be The noise in my mind would it leave me Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is running. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Trying to give up my pain. Trying to be on my lane. My mind running to the other side. When it's time to leave my life, then it tries to take me out. Tell you what I need. Right yet, I really need. I really need time. Now. I really need. I need a friend. Hey guys, good morning. We are looking <laughs> a lot better. So today we're going to be going to uh, the tea making ceremony like I mentioned yesterday as well as uh, the pottery class as well. So this is my little outfit for today. I'm wearing a beret, did my makeup. This is a black top. I have my heat tech under. I'm going to try and show you in the mirror here but it is not the best but I'm going to do my little best to show you guys what it's giving. So so I'm wearing this pant. This is from Zara. Um, watch from JBW. The shoes are from a store in Japan that I got the first year I came here. And yeah, belt, I believe it's from H&M. The earrings are from Ana Luisa. I have a discount code Stacia G10 for 10% off if you're interested in that. So it's something simple. I decided to wear jeans today because I'm going to be doing the pottery class. And of course, I'm going to need to spread my legs. So I wanted to wear something that was cute but functional. Let me put on the jacket so I can show you guys the overall look. Um, and then we're going to have to head out. I'm going to try maybe i'm gonna try and get some breakfast not sure yet um but yeah this is the look what it's given so far uh it's okay it's not like the cutest but it's definitely not the worst so we're gonna wear this today and um yeah it's time to go so let's 
head out. Okay guys, so if y'all want to know that I got lost, I went in the wrong direction and I had to turn around. But luckily, most of the drivers here that I've interacted with, they speak English. So they were able to point me in the right direction. So it's a good thing I left out earlier than I had intended to because if I didn't I would definitely be late for my appointment I still have about 20 minutes before my appointment so I'm going to try and see if I could get in some shots for you guys and for me for my memories and then hold on let me see if my last again I think I turn right here yeah so I need to get some shots. So that's, oh, we're there. We're there, we're there, we're there. All right, I'll see you guys soon. I am at this temple here. It's called the Yasado Pasado, if I'm not mistaken. If I didn't get that correct, I'll put it on the screen. But not many people are here, which is great. Hopefully I could ask someone to take my pictures. Um, but if not, I have my tripod. So I will take it myself. So let's see what we can get. Just left the tea ceremony. I'm looking for food though. I'm wondering where it's good to get food. I see a coffee at the top. So I'm gonna look for food and whilst I do so I'm gonna try and get some content. But guys Kyoto is absolutely <laughs> I photobombed your picture. <laughs> We're gonna try some food. I don't know what's good. Um, unagi. I mean, since we're in Kyoto, we should try some Japanese food. Oh, there's a bistro. This looks good. I think I'm gonna try here. Is it open?
Okay. I am back at my hotel today has been a day I have I had a very good day today it was cold I was expecting it to be colder though but I'm grateful for the weather could have been a little warmer like maybe a two or three degrees warmer but I'm not complaining had a really good time so the last clip that you guys would have seen before this one I went to the pottery class but I couldn't get to record as much because my battery died and then I, I forgot to put in my replacement battery in my bag. Phone almost died too, but thankfully I didn't do a lot today and I, when I'm out, I don't really use my phone that much, but it was dying. So right now I have my uh, other battery that was in my, my camera that's being charged. My phone is being charged as well. It is about... Wait, I didn't put on my my watch after the pottery making class it is almost four in the evening there's also a restaurant that is close by this hotel that i want to try out because they sell salad and you know we love a good salad over here we like it um but so far apart from my wig slipping back like a seven day adventist christian sliding out of church <laughs> that and me forgetting my gloves as well as my memory card not my memory card my extra my spare battery today was good today was good i brought my tripod along with me and i got the chance to take pictures i asked a few people so this is my portable uh tripod i think i've shown you guys this before if you're interested in getting one i will it's in my amazon storefront that you can just check the description box below click on that and you should be able to find it under content creation or something of the sort um yeah so i'm going to chill out a bit i need to reset this week because we're sliding back and that ain't cute 
hey guys so it is a little bit later well not too much later like a couple hours later not that much <laughs> anyway so i relayed my week because what the hell um i think i'm going to forego the kyoto tower um i'm just not in the mood to go it is very chilly now and i'm just not up for being out that late it is it is about 5 25 it's not that late but i'm the kind of person that even when i'm on vacation i feel like there should be rest involved i do not want to be the person who just came off a of vacation and still tired so i like to you know give myself some time to rest as also as well as to edit i just started like frameworking or putting the video this video together so i kind of have an under a uh, basic idea of what i want to do and not only that like how long the video is going to be so it's going to be a good video i think um let me know if you guys enjoyed this video in the comment section below don't be stingy with the comments guys um, i love and i love <laughs> engaging with you guys so definitely let me know if you guys are enjoying the content so i'm going to this restaurant it's called root 2 lab and they sell um salads and stuff like that so i'm going to check it out and i'm of course going to take you guys along with me so let's go Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town, baby. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you pumps, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at.
let me try the sweet one first. Uh, you know, I the dedicated tape. Okay. Fuck, I'm gonna be sorry. I was town heroes. I'm a hometown hero. Niggas, wait like Cino. These niggas do anything for some Cinos. I work hard. Hit Mercedes, buy some free cars. I know, this niggas worth salt. Maybe my son said, the reality is turned off. Who the fuck knows? I just make songs. Who am I to sound as how this shit goes? A shark ever, by the way. Hey guys, it has been a very long day and I realized that I haven't even checked in once with you guys. I haven't spoken to the camera all day and I apologize for that. I felt like I've been editing the video and I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking so I figured let me just um, try to show you guys more instead of telling you guys. So earlier today you guys would have seen I went to the Fushimi, is it how, it, how it's said? Let me double check because I don't want to be on here. <laughs> You know, I a damn fool. Um, Chotomatene. Fushi. I think it's a Fushimi Inari. Let me just double check to make sure that that's what it's called. If my phone would cooperate with me. Arigato gozaimashita. And as you guys can tell, or maybe you guys can't tell from the background, um, I am in no longer, yes, so it's Fushimi Inari Taishi, Taisha, I think that's the how the last word is pronounced. So yeah, I went there, I went there before, but the video I had of that particular vlog is no longer on my channel because I was copyrighted and I was not in the mood to find new music. So I should probably should, but it, it is what it is. That video wasn't all that good anyways. So I went back there, got uh, some more footage because I wanted this vlog to, to include things I think are places I think you should visit when you're in uh, Kyoto. So I went back there for some footage just to add that to it as well. Then after that, and I also went there because the only thing I had planned on my itinerary was to go to the Sake Museum, which you guys will have already seen as well. I went to the Sake Museum. That was the, ma the, uh, the main activity of the day. But because I had to check out of my hotel at 11, I I decided to kill time and I realized that the shrine was 15 minutes away from the hotel so I left my luggage at the hotel that I was staying at and they were kind enough to allow me to do so and I went to the shrine went to lunch at this cute little cafe that was close by and then after that I left and went immediately to the sake museum the sake museum is something that I don't see many people talk about in your Kyoto travel and I think it's something that if you're someone who drink of course and you're interested in alcohol then it's something I think you should definitely try out. I paid 3,000 yen for the tour. Now, the only drawback to this is if you don't understand Japanese, you're going to be left be behind because I was the only non-Japanese speaking person and the tour is in complete Japanese. So if you don't understand Japanese, then you're going to find yourself not understanding too much of what's going on. I think the only thing that was a saving grace is the part where most of the things that are in the museum have English, uh, the English translation. And so I was able to read and kind of keep up with what was happening but as soon as we left the area where they were uh, the English translation to things and they took us to the actual place where uh, the sake is made and, and showing you all the old equipment versus the new equipment that were that were being used and that are being used now I was a little lost but there was a lady who spoke English and every now and again she would throw me a few crumbs and tell me what's being said uh, after that we got the chance to I think I showed you guys that right before they told me I can't record. Uh, we, I got the chance to get my own sake, my own personalized sake. So it's one of one bitches. So it's this right here. I wasn't expecting to get this big, big ass bottle. Uh, on the this on the inter on the website they said that I would have been given three sample of the sake and three small size sample, but nowhere did it say that I would get a personalized bottle. So I'm appreciative of that. Definitely worth the three thousand yen if this is involved. Um, 
and then after we got this we did a taste testing in the main warehouse and then thereafter we went to do some more testing so it, i think given the fact except the fact that you know it was done in all japanese it was definitely worth the money i met a few people and i don't know if you guys know by now this is a solo trip so I think the good with the solar traveling is it opens you up to communicating with people because one of the things when you're traveling with people is if you're traveling with your friends then you're focused on communicating with your friend that's your safe safe area but when you are by yourself it kind of opens you up to communicating and talking to new people at least for me that's what it did also i wanted to give you guys an update in the beginning of this vlog i have great news this is great news by the way in the beginning of this vlog i told you guys that um i lost my ic card so this morning i got a call from narita airport apparently it was found and the lost and found section of the airport has it so i had to fax over my id just to confirm the details on my card and they're going to be shipping the item shipping my passmo card to me i actually them if it could be delivered sometime next week which is when i'll be back from my vacation they said they'll try their best so i'm super 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 happy so my money is not lost i am eternally grateful i was jumping up and down when i got the news so that's one of the things i love about japan when you lose your stuff there's a high possibility that you'll get it back once someone finds it so i'm happy 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 because that's a lot of money to to be losing and i am grateful i'm gonna have to pay for it to be shipped of course either way i would much prefer to pay a thousand yen than to lose twelve thousand at the end of the day so either way i'm still winning because i'll be getting my money back so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that because i know i started off the vlog with that and so i wanted to update you guys to let you know that all is well where that's concerned anyways i've been rambling on for enough and i'm th i think this video has been pretty lengthy i do hope that you guys enjoy this uh kyoto, this kyoto vlog and i'm going to go ahead and open up my nara, nara vlog because i'm going to be in nara for the next two days and i want to take you guys along with me on this adventure hope that you guys will enjoy this series it's my kansai series i started editing my kyoto vlog i want to go ahead and finish off that so that i can um have something for you guys next week but i do hope that you enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell and comment to let me know that you were here if you know of anyone looking to travel to the kansai area share my videos with them if you are looking to travel to, to to kyoto nara or osaka check out my series and let me know what you like that's all i'm going to go ahead eat something because i only had one thing all day except the sake so i'm going to close off this video right now thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye Lost, lost, lost,